Welcome to maybe your very first mind body flow workout. My name is Leon and I'm going to take you through a mind flow, a sequence of mental exercises. And I'm Shan and I'm going to be in charge of the physical flow. Um, it's all going to be done in about 10 minutes. I'm going to be doing the mind flow in about four minutes. Shannon is going to do four minutes and we'll have a short intro and a short outro. So you'll be in and out of here in about 10 minutes. Sounds like a quick and dirty flow. Uh, Should we do it? Let's, let's do it. So we'll, we'll fraction out the flow, meaning we'll break down the physical components of the physical flow we'll be doing. All right. So Leon, if you'll demonstrate. Sure. I'm going to have you get on all fours and we call this quadruped position. And Leon, do you mind turning sideways just so sure. we can set up the mechanics and move safely in our bodies? So, meaning your hands should be beneath your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Your spine should be imagined to be like a table. So nice and flat, engaging your core, pushing into the pads of your fingers because this flow incorporates a lot of weight bearing through the hands, meaning we want to protect our wrist joint. And for those of you out there that are maybe not used to putting weight through your hands, these flows are taken to failure. So you pause when your body tells you to. Awesome, Leon's looking great. The next uh, movement is going to be to kind of walk with just moving your hips. So your spine stays like a board. Leon, can you pick your right knee up and then slowly put it down? Left knee up and down. Good. And then you're going to alternate between those positions, lifting one knee at a time. And important to note that this physical flow today is a micro flow. Here at Two Minds, we do macro, meaning global muscles, big body movements as well as micro movements, meaning breaking it down. So if you're stuck in that quick monkey mind mindset, we're gonna slow it down and we're gonna get micro. All I right. call it annoyingly slow. So okay. now what I want you to do, Leon, is to go into a bear position. So you're gonna hover both knees off the ground, holding here with a flat back, push to it in yoga, we say down dog, or pike the hips and go to a tripod position, good. Then you're gonna come back down, find bear, knees hover, Lift back up, down dog, that's movement two. Awesome, movement three and the final one. Mm -hmm. Hover both knees in your bear and then place one knee down and lift it back up. Left knee down and lift it back up. Now you're doing that same reciprocal walking motion but from a bear position versus quadruped. Hmm. So now let's put the whole micro movement into a flow. Okay. So hands below the shoulders, walk it back just a little on and knees underneath you just a tad more. Perfect quadruped, lift up one knee, lift up the other, take it to the down dog, hover back into bear, and then lower one knee and then the other. Good, and then take it through that and we'll keep making that into our physical flow. Very cool, very Should cool. Should we do it? Uh, well, I'll explain very briefly what yeah. I'm gonna do in the mind flow. Let's hear it. Uh, so uh, four times one minute, uh, that's the same thing as Sharon's gonna do in the first minute we're going to calm our mind and basically do that by catching our attention. I'll walk you through it. In the second minute we're going to use smooth nostril breathing, right? So you, you're just going to breathe through your nose but making it as smooth as possible. Mm. And then uh, the last exercise we're going to take that smoothness and use it in our body. So however your body, however you're breathing, chest or belly, uh, using your diaphragm more or less. We're not going to worry too much about it right now, mm -hmm. but we're going to make sure it's smooth. Mm -hmm. And then in the last uh, last one minute, we're going to do that much faster. So 15 second, 15 second, 15 second to practice getting into a relaxed state kind of quickly. Kind of quickly, but also under physical stress. Yeah, because we're going to do it after Shannon did her workout. So get ready. We're going to do our mind body flip. All right, let me set the timer and get going. So here we go. We're gonna go on all fours and then pull the belly in. Slowly start alternating between lifting one knee and then the other. And we're gonna do this for a minute and we're gonna do it with a smile on our faces. So I'll turn this way if Leon, you wanna stay that way. Yep. Just so everyone at home can kind of see how the mechanics of the movement work down if you didn't quite understand it in the intro. Oh yeah. Belly in, back flat. We're about halfway there, guys. Can you maybe close your eyes and do the movement by just feeling with your body rather seeing with your eyes? 
Can you capture your awareness here? And can you break down the micro movement as you move from a quadruped up to almost a bear position? Here we go. Using the breath, last little bit here, guys. We're going for five more seconds. Awesome, All let's right. do it. Let's shake out the rest. Okay, quick break. About fifth, typically we do about 15 seconds break between the exercises to reset. Feeling a little bit quicker on the heart rate. We're getting ready for that bear to down dog. Let's do it. All right. Hover the knees, slowly lifting the hips up to down dog and then hovering back down to bear. Good. Keeping the knees up off the ground the whole time. I'm going to keep it a little slower, but if you want to move a little faster with Leon, feel free to do that there. Moving with the breath and moving at a tempo that feels good for your body. Remembering that everyone's at their own place on their physical fitness journey. So maybe you're moving slower and sometimes honestly slower can be harder. You know? Oh, well, let me slow it down a little too then. Nice, good job guys. Hover the knees, nice strong push and pressure through the hands into the ground. Sinking back into those heels when you're in your down dog. We're going for the last 10 seconds here. Biggest smile you've had all day. Can you breathe in with the breath? Strong push to the end. Nice. Oh, Shake out right. those wrists again. Woo. This next one is our third and final movement. So we're going from our bear down to quad. All right. Let's Sounds good. So we'll get set up here. Here we go. Okay. Good. Hovering the knees. Lower the right knee, lift it back up. Lower the left, lift, right, lift, left, lift. Good, keep that going. I'm gonna turn sideways so everyone at home can watch the mechanics from a different angle. But then of course, once you find your flow, close your eyes and maybe just feel the movement rather than see. Woo, pulling those bellies in. Let's feel the cores on fire. Back is nice and flat. Remember, pushing more into the pads of your fingers than into your wrist crease. And if you need to stop somewhere, you know, because you're, you, feel you're, you feel the burn, that's fine. You just stop for a little bit and you start again. Yeah, we'll be waiting right here for whenever you're ready. We're going to move as a group for the last 10 seconds. Here we go. Alternating back and forth with a nice flat spine. And then we shake it out. Oh, Let's get ready. Let's put it all together. That burn. Final minute of physical flow. Hands down. I'll walk you through it nice and slow to start. All fours, right knee lifts, left knee lifts. Nice and slow to down dog. Slow it down. Use the breath to come forward. Bear, hover the knees. Pause for a moment. Lower the right, lower the left. Reverse, left leg up, right. Down dog, hover and bear, left down, right down, right up, left, down dog, bear, lower, lower. Good. We're going to keep that going at our own speed. So now start moving at the tempo that works with the energy of your body in this moment. Always listening to the body. If you need to take breaks, shake out the wrist, shake out your mind. We're here for you. We're going to get to the end. Nice job, not trying to race with your neighbor. Me and Leon can get competitive. <laughs> there we go, good. We're almost there, guys. Last five, big smiles, big breath. Nice. All right. Cool, Whew. oh yeah. Should we drop nice into our job. mind? All right, well, uh, we got about, we have a quick break, uh, but we're gonna start right now on the mind flow. Right, so find, first find a comfortable place to sit. If you want, like we're, we're sitting like this, Shen, here's a block. Oh, thanks, Leon. Um, you can put that underneath you, but it's perfectly fine to sit like this or any way you feel comfortable. But close your eyes. Close your eyes and find your attention. Where is it? That's the only job you have right now. See what your attention's on, and it might be shifting, right? Obviously, you're, you're hearing my voice, so it might be with my voice. But you might be on a thought, 
something you feel. Just find your attention and follow it. All right. Next exercise, keep your eyes closed and we're going to go to smooth breathing through your nose. So first, bring your attention to your breath, the air moving in and out of your nose. So we're not only following our attention, we're actually controlling our attention. And by the way, you're also controlling your breath. So feel the air moving through your nose, in and out, but make it as smooth as possible. So when you start breathing in or you start breathing out, make sure it's fairly slow, fairly smooth. And just enjoy the breathing. You might get a little smile on your face as you do it. All right, next exercise. Still keep your eyes closed and stay in a comfortable position. That smoothness that you just brought to the movement of the air, let's bring that smoothness to our body. So move your chest and your belly as smoothly as possible. No shocking movement. Other than the smoothness, don't force anything. Just enjoy breathing. You might use your chest, you might use your belly, it's fine. But just make it smooth. Just enjoy that relaxation. Okay, last part of the exercise. Still keep your eyes closed. We're going to go through these exercises more quickly. All right, so get ready. First, see where your attention is right now. And just follow it. It could be on your breath, that's fine. But try to catch your attention as quickly as possible. Next, control your attention, bring it onto your breath, and also control your breath. Make it smooth. The air breathing in and out of your nose, as smooth as possible. And next, we make that movement of the air turn into a movement of our body. So, your chest, your belly, Make the movement really, really smooth. All right, and now open your eyes. You're kind of coming back to planet Earth, right? You sit upright, you might still have a smile on your face, but keep that relaxed feeling. And that is really what all it is for today's workout. So I hope you found your flow. I know I yes. did. Yeah, that's that's really nice, right? And it's a bit harder doing this. Uh, that's the, clearly the end of the exercise. Uh, it's a bit harder doing this after doing um, the physical workout, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we combine it that way. And uh, some of these workouts are going to be a bit easier than others. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're really going to push you to right, maybe right on the edge of your comfort zone, so that whatever mental fitness exercise we do works under pressure. So thanks for joining us and see you in the next one. Thanks, yeah.